Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Source Code, and today we're going to be talking about sort of implementing MongoDB, so if you've watched the last couple of videos, you sort of know what we're going to be doing here, but today we're going to be implementing MongoDB into a bucket plugin. Not going to be anything super crazy, it's going to be kind of simple just so we can sort of introduce the idea of creating a basically creating and using mongodb because before you kind of used it but you didn't really implement it into anything so let's just go ahead and connect to our uh, mongodb database uh, i will do that later i will update uh, once again all the code will be available for you guys on github here and as soon as that connects but we'll get back to that so let's just go ahead and just quickly just do this uh, oops get server Get plugin manager dot registry events this 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 comma this and then let's go ahead and implement listener and import that all right so we're just gonna make this really simple on join but first let's go ahead and just export this this is the same stuff that i have from the last episodes of the mongodb series so again, if you don't know what this is, uh, just refer back to those videos and you'll be able to quickly and easily figure that out. So I think I changed, um, oh, it's control. Okay, it's control backspace. Okay, so let's just go ahead and export this, build. And all right, so we did connect. Um, this is just a bunch of uh, MongoDB <laughs> uh, output here. So don't really worry about all that. It's not really super pertinent. Uh, but we can see here database connected. All right, cool. So now that we know that that's working, uh, but I'm just going to change this to this dot get server dot get oops dot get console sender dot send message, and we'll just say check color dot green, and then this will just be Mongo DB. All right just so we know it's working there. All right, so this is just gonna be a simple on join. So what's gonna happen is the player's gonna join, the, we're gonna add them to the, well, it's gonna check the database to make sure that they don't exist. And then if they do exist, it's going to just grab their information. So let's go ahead and get into our database. Let's create a new collection here. And let's just call this uh, Minecraft. Okay. So then let's go back in here and let's just change that to Minecraft. All right, so it's gonna get the collection there. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna say at event handler, public void join, player join event, event. All right, so then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and get the player, player equals event dot get player. And then we're gonna say, now this is where it's going to sort of get a little complicated. So we're going to create a new document and this is going to be player doc. And this is going to be a new document and it's going to be UUID and player dot get unique ID. Make sense? Hopefully it makes sense. <laughs> I hope that I have to do something really quick here. So we just have to do that thing that we did before where we basically search through our documents. So we say found equals a new document, or sorry, not new document. This is a cast of document. And then we just say collection, oops, I can't type today. We say collection dot, why is collection not coming up? Did I spell it wrong? Oh, because it's not a public variable. Okay, hang on. Let's just move this up to here. Let's just say collection. And then we're just going to say private. There we go. Now we can access that. Equals collections.find. And we're going to basically search for our document, which is the player doc. And then we're going to go ahead and get first. We want to see if that's first. So we're going to say if found equals equals null, we're going to go ahead and say collection dot insert one player doc. 
and now there's no information that we inserted into there um, so let's just go ahead and just insert some information so let's just do player doc uh, player doc dot append and let's do gold and let's give them a hundred uh, let's do player doc dot append uh, let's do I don't know uh, magic <laughs> just grabbing random things uh, let's just say 400 and that's that's probably good we don't really need to add a whole bunch more then we're gonna say else um, but we also need to do one more thing here if we're gonna store a players information now we could make an encapsulation class um, well let's actually let's just do that let's just make an encapsulation class here so let's just do new Java class uh, player data and we're just going to have a private int gold private int magic and that's all we need and a private UUID this is capital UUID UUID okay so now we got all that cool we could do a string doesn't really matter uh, and then let's just do alt insert alt insert uh, and let's do a constructor let's get all that and then let's do alt insert and let's do getter and setters for everything cool so now that we have that yes I know it's never used oops so let's go to our main class here and let's just create a private hash map and the key is oops the key is the UUID the value is player data and we'll just say player data hash map equals a new hash map cool and then we'll just uh, actually initialize this in the on enable here so we'll just quickly grab that cool and I just like to save this just so I know and then what we're gonna do inside of here is we'll just go ahead and say uh, player data hash map dot put and we'll say player dot get unique ID and then we just need a new player data and it's going to be player dot get unique ID again and we'll just say uh, 100 400 because those are the values that we're using there okay and now we're just going to go ahead and grab this down here and we'll just going to swap this to gold we're going to swap this to magic. And now what we're going to do is we're going to say private, or not private, sorry, int gold equals found dot get. And now we just need to get those values. We're just going to get gold. We'll copy this. And now we'll get magic. And now we'll just change this to magic and gold. And these are um, objects, so we can change this to um, get integer because those are integers. You could keep it as objects if you wanted to, and just cast an int over top of it. Uh, it doesn't particularly matter. Okay, so now that we've done that, um, let's go ahead and export this. Uh, let's leave the server here. Let's export this, MongoDB, and there we go. Now it's in a string, which works much better. All right, this is the thing you see there. Our gold is 100, magic is 400. And now if we leave and we rejoin, and you can see in light purple, player found. And obviously we don't have anything to show it, um, but it found the player in the database and our values are still there. And now every time that we join in, it's going to find us in the database. So that's just a really, really simple way to start implementing uh, MongoDB into your bucket plugins. Uh, this video is going to be classified as a, a bucket coding, not a Mongo tutorial because it's not really Mongo. I mean, it is Mongo, but we've already learned all of this stuff here. Um, but yeah, so if you guys enjoyed the video and you want to know more about how to implement Mongo or certain features of MongoDB, uh, be sure to leave a comment down below and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.